These three prime lenses are essential to your event photography. My name is Musa Gwinali and I'm part of the content team at AP Magazine and on days when I'm not sitting in front of your screen, I'm an event photographer. I photograph weddings, conferences, meetings, different types of events and people in general. And so today as I look at what's in my kit bag, I want to share with you three prime lenses that I think are essential to event photography. Let's talk pros of using prime lenses for event photography. Firstly, you have wider apertures. With prime lenses, you can get f-stops as low as 1.2, 1.4, which is great when you're shooting in low light. For example, at the end of a wedding reception or at a concert, you really wanna get that mood, that ambiance, that lighting, and it helps to have a lens with a very wide aperture. The second most important thing is the size and the weight of a prime lens. Prime lenses, in comparison to zoom lenses are slightly smaller and lighter. And that's really helpful if you're spending 10 hours on your feet. The last pro is that having a fixed focal length will force you to move around. And that pushes your creativity because you're always having to look for different angles and move around the room, around your subject, around the environment that you're shooting to be able to get great photos. I don't know about you, but sometimes using a zoom lens makes you lazy because you just fix in one spot and you can zoom in and out. But when you have a fixed focal length, you are forced to move around for you to be able to get different types of shots. So what's in my kit bag? The first lens I have as an essential for event photography is the 35 millimeter. I am a Sony user and I shoot with a Sony a7 IV and a Sony a7 III. And so I usually have two bodies, um, but on one of those bodies is usually my Sigma 35 millimeter F1.4, which I find to be so versatile. This lens allows me as the wide, widest angle lens in my kit bag, it allows me to be able to capture the environment as well as my subject. I use it a lot to establish the context in which I'm shooting. Um, I'm able to do group shots with this lens. I'm able to sometimes do some portraiture if it's just the camera I have at that moment and I've just got this lens. Um, it's a really good, good versatile lens. The second lens I use quite a lot is my Nifty 50. So I have the Sigma 15 millimeter F1.4 as well. Um, and I love this lens because it sits in the middle of my 35 and 85. And it's great when it comes to portraits. It's great when it comes to um, establishing shots as well. Um, I, it's, it's a nifty 50. I mean, it's a lens that you definitely want to have. I know there's like huge debates about whether the nifty 50 is dead and gone and, you know, we should move beyond that and use other focal lens. But I think if you're starting out and you're trying to build your kit bag and you don't have the money to invest in a lot of prime lenses, because that's the, I guess that's the disadvantage of using prime lenses is you're going to need more than one. Um, but if you're going to have to start with one or two. If you have a 35, you have a 50, those are great focal lens to have. So yes, I have a 50 millimeter. The third lens I have is my Sony 85 millimeter F1.8. And I love this lens when it comes to like shooting. Sometimes if you're shooting at an event and there's no space for you to move closer to your subject, you need a lens that you can zoom in with, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, with the 85, it allows me to shoot my, my subjects that are a bit further off. Um, and it allows me to shoot really, really beautiful portraits with that creamy bokeh. Um, I love, love, love it for portraits. I mean, it's an essential portrait lens. If you have two bodies, that's great because you can just have one on each, um, which is what I do mostly for weddings. Um, yes, if you shoot weddings, please have two camera bodies. Just this is a backup because you don't want one camera just going off. Um, but yeah, these are what I would call essential to event photography, a 35, a 50 and an 85. Do you think that's an essential kit? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will invest in some prime lenses. I do shoot with zoom lenses and I will share in another video my experience with shooting with zoom lenses. But for today, it's all been about primes and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do remember to comment, like, subscribe, 
turn on your notification bell so you can know when the next video drops on this channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.